is we're going to talk about smoking tail lights. This is something that we get inquired on quite a bit when we're out in shows. Um, we get a lot of inquiries online and stuff like that. So what we're going to do today is kind of walk you through the basic steps of how to do this, give you some of the stuff that I've used in the past that works good for me. The first thing you want to do is you make sure you mask off the tail light, uh, cover all your connectors and stuff like that, and scuff it really good with either a gray scotch bright or uh, you can use a, a higher grade sandpaper, 600 or 800. We tend to use scotch bright because it gets it real good, real quick, and it makes it easy. After that, you want to apply an adhesion promoter. Uh, the adhesion promoter is going to allow the paint to stick to the parts. There's, there's a number of ways to do the actual tinning. Some people mix it in clear coat. Some people mix it with an inner coat carrier. Some people over reduce black. I tend to do it with an inner coat clear. You always want to start off light. When you go to mix your paint, mix your, mix your inner coat clear like you're going to do a candy. And then add a little bit of black, stir it, check it against the stick. You want to check the stick to see how, how dark it's going to be. If you go too dark too fast, you're going to ruin your tail lights. Now you can see on the clear part here, it's already starting to get a little bit darker. So, I said, we got one more pass on this thing. This should be about where I want it. The key to all this stuff is making sure your preparation is done right, the parts are clean, and how you apply it. Apply it slow. Don't try to do it all in one shot. Build it up slowly. You know, uh, it, it's just like anything else. When you're painting, take your time. Do it right. Don't rush it. This is Scott, a.k.a. Chivo from West Coast Customs. That's your tech tip for the day. Thank you.